in measure theoretic analysis and related branches of mathematics. Lebesgue Stielt Jess integration generalizes Riemann Stielt Jess and Lebesgue integration, preserving the many advantages of the former in a more general measure theoretic framework. The Lebesgue Stielt Jess integral is the ordinary Lebesgue integral with respect to a measure known as the Lebesgue Stielt Jess measure, which may be associated to any function of bounded variation on the real line. The Lebesgue Stielt Jess measure is a regular Borel measure, and conversely, every regular Borel measure on the real line is of this kind. Lebesgue Stielt Jess integrals, named for Henry Leon Lebesgue and Thomas Johannes Stielt Jess, are also known as Lebesgue Radon integrals or just Radon integrals, after Johann Radon, to whom much of the theory is due. They find common application in probability and stochastic processes, and in certain branches of analysis, including potential theory. Definition the Lebesgue Stielt Jess integral is defined when f a b r is Borel measurable and bounded in g a b r is a bounded variation in a b and right continuous or when f is non-negative and g is monotone and right continuous. To start, assume that f is non-negative and g is monotone non-decreasing and right continuous. Define W equals G minus G and W equals 0, equals G minus G and W equals 0. By Karath Theodori's extension theorem, there is a unique Borel measure mu G on A, B, which agrees with W on every interval I. The measure mu G arises from an outer measure given by the infimum taken over all coverings of E by countably many semi-open intervals. This measure is sometimes called the Lebesgue Stielt Jess measure associated with G. The Lebesgue Stielt Jess integral is defined as the Lebesgue integral of F with respect to the measure mu G in the usual way. If G is non increasing, then define the latter integral being defined by the preceding construction. If G is a bounded variation and F is bounded, then it is possible to write where G1 equals Vx ag is the total variation of G in the interval A, X, and G2 equals G1 minus G. Both G1 and G2 are monotone non decreasing. Now the Lebesgue Stielt Jess integral with respect to G is defined by where the latter two integrals are well defined by the preceding construction. Daniel integral An alternative approach is to define the Lebesgue Stielt Jess integral as the Daniel integral that extends the usual Riemann Stielt Jess integral. Let G be a non increasing right continuous function on A, B, and define I to be the Riemann Stielt Jess integral for all continuous functions f. The functional I defines a radon measure on A, B. This functional can then be extended to the class of all non-negative functions by setting for Borel measurable functions. One has an either side of the identity then defines the Lebesgue Stielt Jess integral of H. The outer measure mu g is defined via where chi a is the indicator function of a. Integrators of bounded variation are handled as above by decomposing into positive and negative variations. Example. Suppose that gamma a b r2 is a rectifiable curve in the plane and row r2 0 infinity is Borel measurable. Then we may define the length of gamma with respect to the Euclidean metric weighted by rho to be where is the length of the restriction of gamma to a t. This is sometimes called the rho length of gamma. This notion is quite useful for various applications. For example, in muddy terrain the speed in which a person can move may depend on how deep the mud is. If rho denotes the inverse of the walking speed at or near z, then the rho length of gamma is the time it would take to traverse gamma. The concept of extremal length uses this notion of the rho length of curves and is useful in the study of conformal mappings. Integration by parts a function f is said to be regular at a pointer if the right and left hand limits f and f exist, and the function takes the average value at the limiting point. 
Given two functions u and v of finite variation, if at each point either u or v is continuous, or if both u and v are regular, then there is an integration by parts formula for the Lebesgue dl to chess integral. Under a slight generalization of this formula, the extra conditions on u and v can be dropped. An alternative result, of significant importance in the theory of stochastic calculus is the following. Given two functions u and v of finite variation, which are both right continuous and have left limits then where delta at equals u minus u. This result can be seen as a precursor to ITO's lemma, and is of use in the general theory of stochastic integration. The final term is delta u delta v equals d u v, which arises from the quadratic covariation of u and v. Related concepts Lebesgue integration when g equals x for all real x, then mu g is the Lebesgue measure, and the Lebesgue dl to chess integral of f with respect to g is equivalent to the Lebesgue integral of f. Riemann's dl to chess integration and probability theory where f is a continuous real valued function of a real variable and v is a non decreasing real function. The Lebesgue dl to chess integral is equivalent to the Riemann's dl to chess integral, in which case we often write for the Lebesgue dl to chess integral, letting the measure mu v remain implicit.